Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia, West Andalusia in Spain. Here we are in nature. Nature is a, a vast concept. We are scared. We are scared when it doesn't rain and we are scared when it does rain. Therefore, we have to get used to it, make peace, learn, experience, grow confidence. And this is what we are doing. Here we have our cistern, new pump system. We pump water east and west on the farm, 40 millimeter pipe. And suddenly we are less scared of the drought. We are less scared of all our fruit trees dying. We are less scared of not having sweet potatoes on the plate. We actually start looking forward to having our asparagus on our plates and our watermelon. Things are slowly, slowly changing. We are installing a, uh, an irrigation system and the confidence is growing in leaps and bounds. The fears are disappearing. And that is good, it's nice, I like it. These are cool days, but it won't stay cool. We are thankful because it hands us a little bit a, an opportunity to progress with this work and not to worry and not to hand water. The dogs just had their siesta, so they're waking up. Come on, Max. Yeah, you. Okay, the water comes from down here and the same as on the uh, east and on the west. We pump it first to the highest point, then it follows the contours. So we've done the same here and then it follows the contour this way and it follows a contour this way. We have the 40 millimeter pipe and then 16 millimeter drop line with a valve. So each line we can control. Then we have a spaghetti extension on the emitter that gets our emitters out of the mulch that we have around everything and it keeps the mulch on top of the area where we do water. And as we are going along we discover that we have planted thousands of home oaks. This is the first here. Lots of acorns are germinating. Maybe after the good rain, after the drought of several years. Excellent. We are even putting up drippers for them in many places. This was quite a task. We are perhaps 60% complete with the installation. Today I've already walked 22 kilometers. I'm tired. So uh, first walk is to clean it and then to go and fetch the pipe and then draw the pipe and then realize it's too short or too long or to this or to that. And then we also have to clean a strip in the middle of the berm so that the pipe can rest on the earth, on the soil and not hang in the air on the growth, the plant growth we have here. 
And as uh, soon as we have that, then we have to crawl on top of the berm and install the emitters one by one. Here we have the uh, Bachelier Karoo, tiny ones. And then uh, we have to walk back and see if the system is connected. And then we have to switch on the pump and then we have to wash out the system and block it off at the end, walk back, close the valve, open the valve, wash out the bigger pipe, da 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 da. Anyway, uh, I'm happy. Progress. Some more Vachalia Karu. I like those stones. Reminds me of my youth where we picked this double thorns, stick them to our noses and we pretended we were bulls. Ay, ay, ay. Then we have a lot of ground cover, strawberries, sweet potatoes, some more uh, Vachalia Karu. Look at this. I love it. And then we have some deer repellent scent. It works well. Dogs are doing a good job. Not in my pathway, guys. Here we have a um, pear. And this was a membrio, a quince. And then uh, we have some moringa, it's always late. And then we have an apple. They only flowered now, which I find very strange. Lots of slips of um, sweet potato we have in there. Apple, peach, ground cover, moringa, ground cover, and then, then a moringa. It's only coming now. They say it doesn't show its face until the 15th of May. I'm so excited about this uh, irrigation system because in the past we used to make a dam underneath next to the stem of the plant, the tree, and then we water in it and then it breaks and then we have to repair it and then whatever. So uh, I am looking forward to have more siestas this year in the heat instead of being out here six hours a day watering. Then, this I have to do starting tomorrow. It goes right to the west, but I had to fight my way through this rye while I'm here on the rye, it's very interesting to me that it's growing in the poorest soil we have. This clay soil in which we planted it comes from one meter down. It was placed on top of the topsoil. So it was virgin soil, no plants, no competition clay, no topsoil, and look at it. I don't understand much, but uh, that's also okay.
one day. When I'm big, I will understand. Then I want to separate the two systems, the higher up swales from going down. That is the lowest part of the farm. And in the northwest, northwestern corner, and this is where this pipe is going. And then a walking bamboo that people comment, take it out, destroy it. And the more they say that, the more bamboo I plant. To make my life easier is I have connected everything to the main line. So to open or close valves, I just have to follow one line. So I changed the design I had before and that meant I had to pull another several hundred of meters of pipes all over the farm, but that's okay. This is the end of the 40 millimeter pipe, 200 meters. And then I continue with 32 and that goes right to the corner and then up to the swale a little bit higher. I was absolutely amazed how many emitters I can put on uh, the line and run them simultaneously. I actually <laughs> had to open all of them because the pressure in the pump is quite high, whatever that means. The four bar didn't mean anything to me. Um, only means to me now add more or open more valves or close valves. That's the only thing I understand. So. Uh, the dogs, they discovered a few days ago a horseshoe snake that hisses and then also uh, spit uh, some bile when it's uh, attacked. And uh, then because the pressure was quite high, a few of these emitters popped with a hissing sound and the dogs were all over the place. Anyway, I now know how to scare them. Ah, here you are. I was looking for you. I have learned whenever I leave tools, put it in the walkway and then there's a chance I'll find it again. I ran this system the newly installed system for an hour today. You can see all the wet spots. We also have a lot of chestnuts. Uh, a neighbor worked on the farm collecting them and handed us some as a present. And we stuck a few in here and perhaps we have 20 growing. That is so neat. So the next swale is there where the Khara, the scissors, start. And uh, there's a pipe leading there. And I do all of this. I open all these valves in, in one go. In the past, really, it took me hours and hours and hours. And now I just have to walk and check it. What a blessing. An easy way to know whether the plants need water is to look at the Pavlovnia. When the leaves are flopping, drooping, then uh, they are complaining. But after one hour of this precision drip irrigation, 
they're happy. Now the mulch will come and then we are ready for summer. I hope. Till next time, goodbye.